science or industry in connection with this story because some view what we're talking about as the highest form of contemporary art. We're talking about comic books. But don't look down the end of your nose when we say comic books because comic books include art such as this. Artwork that is time-consuming to produce and expensive to buy. Many of these people here that you see, the art exhibits around here and the artists that are, that are guests here at the Chicago Comic Con are people who can and do sell their original art from anywhere from $50 a page to several thousand dollars if it's a color painting, for example. Most comic book artists do very, very, very well, at least at Marvel, and uh, many of our people will make a lot more money than your average pro football player will. And stores like this are why comic artists can make so much money. It used to be that comic books were sold on a newsstand. Now they're sold in specialty shops like Comic Kingdom on Lawrence Avenue in Chicago. Since these kinds of shops started opening a few years ago, business has boomed. It has provided uh, kind of an instant feedback because uh, uh, we can communicate very directly with the readers through these shops uh, who have, usually have a very steady following and so forth. And uh, we've been able to, uh, to hit pretty close to home with what we've been publishing. And there's a lot less waste, there's a lot less mistakes. And the growing comic book industry has created a new demand for artists and writers, people like Lennon Del Sol. He grew up in England, but came to Chicago four years ago and is now working on a new issue for a new Chicago company that hopes to challenge the comic book biggies. When I was young, I used to copy from comic books. And uh, as when, on I, when I went to school, you know, here, I would do comic books on the side as a relief from the academic work we were doing as well. So comic books, it's a major part of my life. Del Sol's art may one day be collected by some of these people who are attending the Comic-Con convention in Chicago. All of us were kids at one time or another, and it's catering to that aspect of your life. I go for the romantic uh, one, certain artists from the 50s, uh, Bill Ward, certain artists. Uh, you know, they were pretty corny, but now they're popular. Well, I was buying them since I was a kid. Uh, they're still buying them. It's a good investment now. My interest is really uh, Carl Barth's work, which is uh, Disney Ducks. And these collectors now have a new hero to look forward to. Marvel Comics announced this week that it will soon publish the life story of Pope John Paul II. It's a natural, a larger-than-life superhero who wears a cape. Hey, for those of you who don't regularly read the comics, we have a comic book hero living right here in Chicago. In one of the recent episodes, Linda Danvers, also known as Wonder Girl, moved to Chicago where she lives in Rogers Park and attends the fictitious Lakeshore University. That's marvelous. I didn't know that. Well, as Jim Tillman was saying, she's Wonder Girl, but no Linda you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the news this Friday. We certainly hope you have a very good weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Be careful. Thanks for joining us. Good night.